The heat continues to build on Wednesday and beyond. Good Tuesday night, East Tennessee. David Aldrich, Captain Accurate here from the Captain Accurate Weather Command Center. Well, you can see how quiet it is in Tennessee, but there are strong to severe storms popping in the midsection of the country. In Kansas, for example, they're under a severe thunderstorm watch until midnight central time as those continue to flare up there. Our high temperature today came in at 82. I was expecting 83. Now, Oak Ridge was 83, but 82 at McGee Tyson put us three degrees above normal and 10 degrees shy of the record high for this date set back in 1962. High temperatures today hit 83 in Anderson County, 82 in Athens and 79 in Wartburg and Morristown. But if you look at Jackson, Tennessee, they were at 88. That's where I think we will be tomorrow and those upper 80s will be coming to a neighborhood near you. So get ready. A few scattered cumulus clouds appeared today in the afternoon. Otherwise, some high clouds are beginning to advance from the north and west. Think of it as a mostly clear night, but we will find, I think, uh, more sunshine to start the day and then becoming partly to mostly cloudy for the second half of your Wednesday. Headlines mostly clear tonight. Spotty storms develop on Wednesday. And yes, some of those could be strong to severe, turning hot late this week. Now, what do I mean by that? I'm talking about a record high that could be tied or surpassed. But 93 is my expectation now for Friday. Record high, 1941. That's 81 years old. And if we pass it, uh, that would uh, take without a, a record that's been on the books since FDR was in the White House a long time ago. Uh, but that's certainly on the table. We had three tornadoes today, a couple of yesterday showing up on my map here, but a couple, I believe two in Nebraska, one in Kansas. Uh, some of them were right on the line. A land spout tornado, for example, via spotter network in uh, Norton County, Kansas. Uh, but many of these storms are not going to be reaching that type of strength for us tomorrow. I think it's more isolated, severe storms heading into your day on Wednesday, but the Storm Prediction Center has labeled us as dark green. That's the isolated severe storms possible that are limited in duration. But those areas include St. Louis. They include Knoxville, Nashville. They include Louisville and Lexington and Middlesbrough. And dare I say even Maryville now as they've expanded their net, so to speak, to include more areas in the Southern Valley. So Madisonville is now under the isolated or marginal risk for Wednesday, Wednesday night, as well as Decatur. But it puts Etowah right on the edge. We'll watch this closely. So that just gives you an idea that everyone's fair game for a strong storm, possibly severe tomorrow. Future cast shows this big blue eight sliding away by uh, tomorrow morning. It's raining between St. Louis and Louisville heading to the east, but there could be some spot showers between Nashville, Cookville and Knoxville. So don't want to rule that out. And if we don't get it during the day, it could come in the wee hours of your Thursday morning as some of that energy associated with the cold front slides across the state line, bringing more pop up showers by midday Thursday and then fading away. But it's really Friday uh, with the absence of rain, more humidity, a southerly breeze. Uh, we're going to bake. Temperatures will be in the low to mid 90s, hottest day we've seen in quite some time. And then some isolated shower storms come back on Saturday. So for tonight, 58 to low, mostly clear, seasonably cool. Winds out of the northeast about 3 to 8 miles per hour. Lows in Middlesbrough about 52 with a touch of fog. 55 in La Follette, 55 Teleco Plains, and 56 in Newport. Wednesday, we're looking for a pair of eights. Hazy, sunny clouds, spotty rain and storms, and dare I say, with my spacing issue, that's MPH 30. We could be gusting to 30 miles per hour tomorrow afternoon as winds increase 5 to 15 out of the southwest uh, during the day. And as far as tomorrow, about 90 for Newport, 89 for Teleco Plains in Athens, as well as Kingston, 88 for Oak Ridge, high temperature on Wednesday. Here's your Captain Accurate Weather Authority forecast for Knoxville and East Tennessee, 88 Wednesday, near 90 on Thursday. And if we get a day at 90 Thursday, I think we're in the 90s Friday and Saturday, so we can have a little heat wave here in May. A 60% chance for showers and storms on Sunday, where highs are generally in the mid 70s, not as sticky as we head into early next week, but it will be humid, no doubt, by Friday. Friday and into Saturday. So make sure you download the Captain Accurate Weather app. Some new changes are coming to the app. And I did make a big Tennessee announcement this morning. You got to watch my, my Weigel's video from this morning to get the latest. You can fast forward to about the seventh minute, to about the seventh minute, and you can get my big Tennessee announcement from earlier today in case you missed it. Well, my name is David Aldridge. Some people call me Captain Accurate. It's not easy being accurate. So weather doesn't surprise you. We'll see you here next time. Take care.